Hello everyone, it's time for a bubble talk with Burge. Are you ready to get Burge and Burge, Burged and emerge with Burge? I hope so, because I'm ready for you. Um, just got through teaching Passionate Manifestation in Atlanta this past weekend. That was our last graduate course of the year and it was uh, outstanding. And hi Karen. And the thing is, hi Diana, glad to see you honey. The thing is, for all of you out there who are passionately manifesting your dreams, uh, just know that my heart is with you, my love is with you, and I'm so excited. Hi, Lucia. Can't wait to see you at Mastery. I'm so excited to see what you create, what you create from Passionate Manifestation. So many miracles have happened already from our Florida Passionate last week or a couple weeks ago. So there's a lot of we've opened up this vortex of receiving and in that vortex of receiving I also want to let people know uh, that there is a a large planetary interdimensional type of thing going on right now that's amplifying all of our choices it's amplifying and magnifying all the things that we want to create. So be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of what your beliefs are and what you're saying out loud and what you're thinking. Because at this point in time, there's a lot of amplification going on with whatever your thoughts are. So I just want to say it was really powerful to see everybody in Atlanta last weekend coming in from all around the world. We had people from England. We had people from North Carolina and Georgia and Florida, all different parts of Florida, from New York. We had a lot of New Yorkers um, and some from, I believe, Chicago and Arizona. We had some people come in. So it's really cool to see people from all around the place come together to support each other in passionately manifesting their dreams. Hi, Tamara. So Look forward to seeing you too, my friend and mastery. So we'll be there in November up in the mountains and you too can join us in our global movement that we're having uh, for conscious leaders empowering others to create a win-win world. And I want to thank my friend Sammy Blundell for that because uh, when I was in France with her, we came up with that whole um, uh, vision, I guess, of how to explain what we're doing. And so, the thing that I want to remind you is if you're feeling sometimes if you're a, a leader or even if you're not a leader thinking you're a leader, sometimes we, we forget who we are, don't we? Sometimes we lose faith in ourselves or lose faith in the universe or lose faith in others or we lose our direction or maybe even we lose faith in our purpose. And so come play with us at Essence of Being and regain that and really, really help transform how you show up in your business, in your relationships, in your life. So this bubble talk that I talk about is the subconscious belief that keeps you from getting what you want. So if you are choosing something and you're affirming that in your life and you say, yay, I want this, sometimes our subconscious beliefs can block that from happening as quickly or exactly the way we want it sometimes, right? So as always with my bubble talk with Burge, we'll be pulling cards from my Essence of Being deck. La! So you can get your very own if you go to essenceofbeing.com and you'll be able to get your own cards. Uh, and this last weekend was really powerful in that, well actually this whole month has been a passionate month for us uh, here at Essence of Being, but also it's been a very manifesting month where we had people that were 16 years old and 17 years old. It's never too early. And then we had 75 and 77 year olds. So it's never too late to passionately manifest what it is that you would like to have in your life. So uh, it was really powerful to see these young ones really take control of their, of their lives and say, uh, I'm going to change everything about myself in that nothing was wrong with them, but they didn't know that, right? So people think that maybe there's something not quite right with us and that's what they have to change, but really it's not changing anything. All it's really doing is you're focusing and refocusing and remembering who you are, which is this empowering, powerful, magnificent being, you soul, you EO beings out there. Hi Adam. Hi honey. Good to see you. 
So uh, here is the Essence of Being cards I'm going to pull for this week. And just as a little side note, I got, I don't know what it is, maybe it's this time of happening of the quickening of time that's happening, but I also got another call yesterday from a very dear old friend who's also in the essence of being graduate and a friend that I've known forever. Uh, he's in hospice and he's on his way out. So, um, you know, it seems like every time I'm talking to you, this is happening, right? There's something going on. And just know that whenever I do these Facebook Lives, uh, I'm not here to you know, shame anybody or to blame anybody or to offer any kind of condemnation. I, I try to make everything that's happening in my life as a teachable moment for you because we're all the same, right? We're all united. We're all one heart, one mind, one love, one soul. And what's going on for me might be going on for you as well. Hi, Amir. So I just want to say that whatever we talk about in these Facebook Lives and whatever comes up for our cards that I pull from Essence of Being is global. And I try to make them a teachable moment and be vulnerable for you because my strength lies in my vulnerability, okay? So that's where my heart is for all of you to know that you're important and that you matter and that you make a difference. Hi, Julie. So look at what happened this weekend look what I manifested I manifested a lot of things this weekend but this I have to show you one of uh, two of our graduates that came to essence of be well the passionate manifestation made this for me well if you can see it but it's this beautiful carving drawing carving of wood that has essence of being and it says what you focus on expands which is one of our monikers and things that we talk about and they're going to be having a lot of those um, for us to share the smaller ones with our sayings on them like trust and allow and don't ask how so they're going to be making those uh, and I really appreciate Michael and Denise for doing that and they gave us these beautiful carvings that they've made so we'll have a bunch of them for you on our website you can have little plaques with all of our sayings on them uh, we'll also have them at the unconference if you're coming to that in Orlando which is for the Women's Prosperity Network I'll be speaking there in Orlando in October our next essence of being is in October so come play with us in Atlanta so those are all of my announcements except for of course mastery which is our big 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 advanced class and so I'm really excited for that and of course next year is going to change next year we are going to have a whole other way of doing things it's going to be exciting and powerful and you're going to want to stay tuned because uh, it's cooking and I'll let you know you'll be the first to know okay so hi Diana hi honey so let's pull a card shall we let's see what our message is for today and this week if you choose to keep it that way well yeah here you go can you see it you are worthy. I needed to hear that. And I bet many of you needed to hear that as well. It says you are worthy. The universe is incomplete without you. You don't have to do anything to receive love. You make a difference. So if you have any doubts at all in your business, in your relationships, in your purpose, in your family, in yourself. If you have any doubts about why you're here, just this pull, I pulled this for us so that we can really focus on how worthy we are. You know what? We don't have to do anything. We've done enough. Hi, Susan. Can't wait to see you at Mastery. So you've done enough. I've done enough. And yet there's so much more to play with here. So being worthy is not something that you accomplish. You are worthy because you exist. You are worthy because you make a difference just by showing up, just by being who you are. And so the worthiness part is where we get all tripped up, don't we, about we have to do something in order to be good enough and to give back 
But see, the thing I want to always remind us is this, that the more I receive, the more I give. And the more I give, the more I receive. And those of you who were just in our Passionate Manifestation classes, which are our graduate levels, you, we opened up this vortex of receiving. And my, my humble intention for all of us is to keep that vortex open for all of you, to receive everything that you desire, because you don't have to do anything in order to do it. Okay, the universe always says yes. All you have to do is put in your order. All you have to do is hold your shape and hold your integrity and say this is who I am and not let anything push you out of the way of who you really are, which is worthiness. Hi, Jen, in the UK. We've got a lot of people going over to the UK to, uh, tomorrow, I think, and they're staying at um, my house this weekend, Sammy and her friend and her family. So we just had Claire leave. Claire, she just did our class and she's back in the UK now. So I just want to say to all of my people across the pond and everybody in Asia and everybody in South America and everybody in Canada and all across the US and where else? Uh, that's, that's a lot of people, right? That you're worthy, that you make a difference and that you matter. And if we could just do nothing else but just own that in ourselves and say that to ourselves in the mirror every day and look at yourself in the mirror and say you are worthy and one of the greatest little uh, tidbits I give people is if you put a picture of yourself up when you were a little boy or little girl put it up on your bathroom mirror and you look at that little person and you say to that little person you are worthy and you are innocent and you matter and you're good enough and all of those things that you wanted to hear access that in your body and in your mind and in your heart and in your soul and then once you've done that to that little person then you look in the mirror and you say to yourself you are worthy you are good enough you are innocent you are perfect just the way you are then you change it to I as you're looking in the mirror I am perfect so you look at yourself in the mirror as well. So there's three parts. It's look at yourself as a little person, look at yourself in the mirror and say you, and then also say I. And you do that 10 times, 10 times to the little person, 10 times for you in the mirror, and then 10 times when you say I am. Because that is a really powerful thing to say, right? I am, I am worthy, I am perfect, I am innocent, I am good enough. I choose to stay in my integrity. I am powerful. So you make a difference. The universe always says yes. And remember, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is receive. You ask for what you want. Be willing to receive it. Okay? And the more I receive, the more I give. And the more I give, the more I receive. So it's this thing, right? So it's a cycle. So continue that cycle. If you block it anywhere, your passionate manifestations can get blocked. So that subconscious belief of I'm not worthy, just let that one go, okay? Because I pulled the card for us this week for us to focus on. So your challenge for the rest of the week, okay? Hi, Amber. The challenge is, is to look in that mirror every morning when you're brushing your teeth and you say, I am worthy and really own that and really believe that no matter what because life is so precious and what I have found again like I said I do I I really like to be vulnerable with all of you out there about what's going on in my life and the thing is you know we don't know we don't know when we're leaving exactly right so there's been a lot of people leaving the planet lately and uh, it's sad and it's upsetting at times and yet at the same time it's just the cycle of life right so i just want to say i love you and hi angie i'm so i miss you i miss you and also i'll see you at mastery and also in october at essence of being as well so i just want to say i love you and that you make a difference to me you matter to me and you're not alone so just know that there, are, there is a community of people around the world that love you, 
that hold you in the highest and finest and connect with you on so many levels on that physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level. Hi, Terrier. So we'll see you soon when you come to our Essence of Being in October, or I'll see you at the Unconference in October in Orlando, or I'll see you in November at Mastery, which is our big kahuna, our five-day advanced, advanced, advanced class. So I'm really excited about what we're going to be doing in the mountains together. And then again, next year, stay tuned because everything's going to be different. Everything's going to change. And I know change is scary to a lot of people. But hi, Ferdinand. Hello, my friend. So just stay with it and realize that you are worthy. Go back and look at this um, recording and really get the essence of what I'm trying to say to you and what I'm trying to say to myself because the universe really does want, they really want us to know that, that we make a difference. So thank you so much for being with me with my Bubble Talk series. And I will see you on Friday. I think I'll be traveling to California on Friday, so I'm not sure the timing of that yet. But the next, I'll be marrying two of our graduates in California. How cool is that? So hey, I, you know, I like doing that. That's always fun. So, oh, Terry says, hi, you matter to me and I love you. Mwah. Love you all. And remember, you are worthy and you just got burged.